Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews today, and I got this ink bird, I actually bought it like a month or so ago, but um, I'm going to unbox it and use it now, but anyway, you'll see the fish tank in a second, um, but I got the Cobalt heaters, as you saw my other videos, that's what I used, because they had the longest warranty. Uh, Cobalt does no longer have three-year warranties. I don't know if anyone knows that or even cares, um, but now it's only two years, so obviously something happened uh, where the product, um, they don't believe in the product as, as much as they used to, or people are putting in a lot of false claims. I mean, I don't know. Um, so this is the ink bird that I got because my second Cobalt, Cobalt heater that I did get, uh, I think that this one is 150 watts. That one finally broke. And when they break, break the heaters, what happens is usually the contactors get stuck on the inside of the heater and the heat stays on. And also this is a good thing to have on your tank if you have expensive fish or coral. This is the Wi-Fi one I think I got, so it will send me alarm. And we will do it of your review like that. This is the unboxing review. So I got this from Amazon. Uh, this is what it is right here. It has the two probes right there, the ITC 306. A is what you see right there. So smart, uh, we'll go, you guys can give that a pause if you lose your instructions. Okay. So this is just for, you know, you guys lose your instructions because I lose my instructions, you know, moons later. And I tried to go on YouTube and not everybody gives you the instructions. Um, you can find them online at certain places, but i rather just go to YouTube and find them all at one shot instead of having to Google it or whatever you use. Um, so here's the thing right here. So you saw it comes out just like that. I'm not sure of the specs of how long any of these cords are, uh, but they come wrapped up like this. So that's kind of what's up right here. There's the display. We are going to plug it in. It comes with the um, suction cups right here. Uh, they are, you know, freely moved, uh, you know, movable, so adjustable, whatever. So these are really, really long. So the leads are roughly um, almost 80 inches, just shy of 80 inches. So the power cord itself is, um, so the power cord is uh, 56 inches. I mean, where you're going to plug it is 54 inches. So I mean about 54 inches, I guess. All right, so we are gonna download the, uh, so yeah, it does come with the ground for the heaters. I don't know if your heater has a ground or not. Um, I don't know I don't know how the, you know, the, the code for heaters for aquariums anymore. Do they require grounds, do they not? Maybe it depends on state, I don't know. But it doesn't matter if it depends on state because they send this all over the country. So they would just do a, a one standard for all 50 states. I doubt they're gonna change them. You know, that wouldn't make sense. All right, everyone, we're back. Uh, I'm gonna just put uh, the app on my old iPhone 7 so I can video, um, you know, doing the app or blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you just take a picture of this, then it opens up, it looks like that. Just hit get, then we'll hit install. I don't even know my password, great. All right, so uh, I did have to make an account um, because I didn't have one for the ink bird yet. So it's an ink, you know, pro. All right, so we are here. Uh, that's what it says. I'm probably gonna have to plug that in, set it up. We'll go through that really quickly. All right, so we want to add this device. So you want to make sure it says the Wi-Fi is clicking. So that means it should be in the mode. So let's see. So add device. Uh, so you're going to pick, uh, you know, what device it is. All right, it says we have to reset uh, the device. Right, so you're going to want to hit this and hold this down for two seconds to reset your Wi-Fi. All right, so I did that. Now it's connecting. So I, I finally got mine uh, loaded on here. There it is right there. Uh, so it's loading. Here it is. It says it's 78, um, 78 and 78. So it does match. Uh, so that's good. Um, so it did load pretty quick. It did that little circle thing. This just popped up and then that was it. So uh, from on the bottom here, you could set your temperature. See, there's T1 uh, temp setting and then there's going to be T2, I guess. You know, your off and on setting or whatever. Um power oh you can hit on pause or off from here that's really cool you know it'll turn this on and off obviously so when this light is on and it says it's work 
that means that it's turning the heaters on, okay? Just to let you know. So if I hit the off button, see the work button goes off, okay? So that's how you know when it's off and on. So it's very easy to set it up. I mean, they really make it easy, uh, I would think so. So now I turned it back on. So that is really cool. Um, here's your settings. You can put load uh, uh, your alarms on here. You can set your alarms. This alarm goes off, and let me tell you, it is really loud. If you're in the same room or even, you know, maybe one or two rooms away, you will hear this. I mean, if you're in a mansion, you're not going to hear it. But if you live, uh, you know, in a, in a small place, then you're going to hear this thing with no problem. So you could uh, do all your calibration in here and everything. You have the graph on here. You can hit this and then the graph will come up. Mine's obviously not going to come up too much because I just plugged it in. If you hit over here, you can also save your files and send them you know, to your computer, you can share the screen, do all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of cool. Other than that, it's pretty cool. I mean, the other ones probably has heating and cooling, you know, whatever. Uh, but to me, that's really cool. I, I really can't go wrong. I guess we can put the alarm on. All right. So we're going to pour some water in here. Just watch some changes going on here. All right. Let's see. All right, so that's to uh, help you guys just to show you the simulation of it overheating, okay? And then we're going to uh, put another one, put some cold water in there and see what's up. All right, so it turned off because I had it set or whatever. Now we're going to drop the temp, test it. <clears throat> all right so that's kind of what it does and what it says uh when it's gonna go into the uh you know the low crack all right all right all right so uh, that's it for glenn velvet reviews on the ink bird that i got over here uh just to show you how to set it up and see what's up and you know like i said i stuck it in there i didn't put any heaters in there but you could see it clicking on and off obviously and if this doesn't click uh, on or off and you bought it that means that this thing's broken you got to return it anyway so uh you know what i mean and uh, like i said you would hear the the clickety clackety in there and, and that's how it's designed but at least you could see uh that you could see how off or how close they were together i wasn't around because i was you know uh, doing the water or whatever um that's it for glenn velvet reviews on the ink bird if you have any questions or comments please post them down below i would love to know also subscribe to my channel Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community, all right? Uh, if you could do me a favor to support the channel for free at no cost to you, if you're going to order off Amazon, you can click the link below, and it just helps me, uh, you know, obviously just helps support the channel to do other stuff, right? That's it, just to grow. Um, that's it. So everybody be safe. Enjoy. I'm out. Bye-bye.